What's up nerds, my name is Matt Nelson, and over the next 16 weeks, from February 12th to June 4th, I'm going to be dieting down to a respectable body fat. During this time, I'll be showing you my workouts, my nutrition, and my cardio, in hopes to not only motivate you, but to teach you so that you can do this stuff yourself. And I'm going to be releasing a video every Monday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. Along with that video, I'm also going to release my workouts for the week in a downloadable Excel spreadsheet so that you can follow along with me. So I hope you'll not only watch me, but you'll join me as we become stronger through knowledge. Good morning, everyone. So about to break my fast for the day. It is 1.10 p.m. So I say good morning because this is kind of like the start to my day, like when I break my fast. Uh, because everything before this is just like either video editing, replying to clients, sending emails, just super boring like business stuff. Um, if you want to see more of it, comment down below. But if not, I completely understand because I don't really like to see that in a lot of people's videos unless it's like teaching you how to do something business-wise a little bit better. Um, but anyways, so what we've got here is two whole eggs, um, two servings of uh, egg whites, three slices of Trader Joe's peppered turkey bacon. Uh, we got that purple monster. And then in the cup, we got uh, a serving of PE Science chocolate cupcake. Uh, a serving of spinach, a serving of uh, blueberry raspberry mix. It's like 140 grams or whatever you want to call that. Uh, and then uh, 240 grams of skim milk. Mm. So good. But that's going to break my fast. And... So good. So good. Today's not a lifting day, but we have cardio to do. So I'm going to eat this up. I'll see you guys a little bit later. Oh man, what's going on guys? So today's been one of those days where I've, I've, I've done a lot of things, but I still can't check anything off my, like off my to-do list. You guys ever have those days where like you just do a ton of stuff, ton of work, but you still can't check it off your to-do list? Anyways, uh, what I really wanted to talk about was the secret to uh, not eating like an asshole when you're super hungry, and that secret lies within this cup, uh, and it's it's not nope nope it's not it's not carbs, it's coffee. Specifically, more specifically, warm coffee because uh, the warmer the liquid the more of an effect it has on uh, suppressing your appetite. Fun fact, if you didn't know it, now you know. Um, this is also why like, sometimes people say that like, soft drinks can like, make them more hungry or like, crave sweets or something like that. It's because it's cold. Second secret, agua. Like, if you are super hungry, chug like 26, minimum of 26 ounces of water. and watch that hunger be killed immediately. Um, yeah, so I got laundry going, you can kind of hear it. I've got dishes in the dishwasher going, I've been cooking, I've done updates, I've woo, edited video footage, I've talked to other clients, talked, uh, sent a bunch of emails for the meet. Like this day has been super productive, but I still can't check anything off my damn list. That sucks. All right, uh, I'm gonna get back to uh, this day. It's not very exciting. I might just see you guys tomorrow, but I might be going to shoot tonight with Zach, so you might see my face again tonight. We'll see, I don't know, but bye. All right, so we're about to go shoot. I'm gonna go grab some caffeine uh, before we go, even though I've had like a massive ass monster. I just had a cup of coffee like two hours ago. But I'm about to go grab some more caffeine because caffeine is the lifeblood, the juice, if you will, 
of creativity and without it no one is creative. This is a song of my people. We meet we meet the coolest people. So because of Zach's car, we meet like the coolest people all the time and they're super nice to us because Zach has like a really cool car. And that guy was really cool. He has a Cadillac, what is it? C C CTSV. It's a Cadillac CTSV. And um <laughs> shocked to hear he had a wife. <laughs> Alright, first location. Can you guys see the city behind me? <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna shoot a couple uh, long exposures here. Oh, there's You want to look on the other side? It's pretty terrifying. Yeah. Hi guys. This may be the last time you ever see a spider man. Okay, so I haven't done this this entire uh, prep, cut, whatever you want to call it so far. And I feel like I need to do it. So it's grocery haul time. So first we stop by to get some something to eat because you should never go to the grocery store hungry. Terrible idea, especially if you budget grocery shop. Actually, you should just never do it. It's a terrible idea. All right, so just got to the gym. It is 3, 3.40 uh, and basically had to like put the groceries up and leave and come straight here so that I could get my workout in for the day. 
that's okay because I'll go back and we'll talk about the groceries and stuff like that because I really want to do a little bit better of a job explaining some things, showing you guys some stuff that I eat. Maybe it gives you ideas, stuff that you can eat in your diet so that it can be successful and some stuff like that. But also, if you're watching this video, go check out my Instagram because there's a story on how to like find your maintenance calories and put yourself in a deficit, which is how you lose weight, if you didn't know that. Um, and how to stay in a deficit and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and I'm gonna be putting out more and more informative content over on Instagram, as well as like including like little bits and pieces inside of the vlog. Uh, the biggest thing is I just don't wanna make informative videos anymore. Uh, that just got really boring for me, even though I know they help a lot of people. So uh, this is just my journey to lose weight. If you wanna join along, if it motivates you, if you learn something, awesome. Uh, if you enjoy this stuff, like leave it, leave it down below. Like if you learn something from like one of my videos, let me know, uh, because you have no idea like how much that means as a creator, as someone that you know creates art or something like that, uh, for me to know that people appreciate it. Uh, so like the thumbs up buttons, like being smashed, is amazing. Uh, the video like that I posted yesterday is already like I mean you are killing it. Uh, we're at 55 views, but 11 likes, six comment, like that that stuff, that feedback is, you have no idea how much it means and how, how much I appreciate it. Um, and I really hope you guys enjoy this journey along with me, um, that you learn something, that uh, you get some entertainment value out of this. I've been talking way too long. All right, so got home from the gymnasium. I uh, got home from the gymnasium or the gym, however you want to call it, um, and whooped up some dinner. So got some uh, spaghetti. This is spaghetti squash. Uh, pro tip, it does not taste like noodles, but it still allows you to have like spaghetti which is kind of cool um, and then just like a big bowl of salad literally just like lettuce tomato um, some banana peppers <clears throat> because yum and then a bag of weed um, pepperoncinis not weed um, so yeah so I'm gonna eat that up call it a night and uh, I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite items from the grocery haul tomorrow morning. So, yeah. All right. Bye. It's, uh, it's 107. I've been basically on, on this thing like all day. Basically just computer work. My life just is so exciting, guys. Let me just tell you. But I want to show you guys some of the foods that I picked up from Trader Joe's, uh, from the grocery haul. Uh, but before that, let's go get some caffeine. First off, yesterday it was like 70 degrees here, and I wore shorts, and it felt like really good. Today, it's like 30 degrees, and holy sh, it's cold outside, like super windy. Luckily, I had that windbreaker on to break all the wind. That's the best sound ever. So, got the... Um, Super large purple monster, and I'm also eating this right here pizza. Um, so this is like a barbecue chicken with some uh, onions and stuff on it. It's from Lean Cuisine. Um, it's actually really, really tasty. Pretty low fat, pretty high carb. That's okay because uh, I'm trying to get in as much carb as I can before I work out today. Even though today is still a deload for me. Still gonna do that. So I'm gonna eat this and then we will show you guys some of the stuff from the grocery haul. 
Yo, I completely forgot. I have two packages coming in today that are, I, I'm so excited and I think one of them's here. I mean, the, just the, the packaging on this stuff is just, oh dude, this feels so good. You'll see that. So these are the new camo joggers they just dropped. Um, and then I also picked up a, uh, a hex T by the way. I think it's called the hex T. That's not even the package I'm most excited about. So the second one, second package, that's the one I'm excited about. And we're gonna wait for it to come in. And once it comes in and I get it, I'll show you guys that package and then I'll show you the food stuff. Ready for a walk, dude. Let's go on a walk, man. Okay, second package is here. If you didn't think that this was gonna be a seven, are you truly a subscriber of mine? I love that, I mean like, as big as they've gotten and still also, up in their uh, packaging game, a little, little zipper. Oh, man. Oh, these are going to be dope. Okay, so, picked up some, uh, some shorts. Yo, what's up? So, it is 5 p.m. now. Uh, we're hitting the gym up at 6, so I'm going to get ready. Uh, for that, but before I do that, I told you guys I would show you some of my favorite things uh, that I've picked up um, and that I've found. Like these are like macro finds, uh, and we're gonna start that off right here. So we're gonna start off with proteins. Um, super simple. This uncured tr turkey bacon from Trader Joe's. It is 1.5 fat, five grams of protein per slice. Uh, it doesn't really get much better than that. And I promise you, if you guys have ever had turkey bacon before, this stuff is, it's super thick. It's uh, way better than any other turkey bacon that I've ever had. So definitely give it a shot, check it out. Um, next up, these are my go-tos right here for, for some quick protons. Um, and we have plain and vanilla. So what I usually do is a full serving of the plain, which will give me 22 grams of protein and only seven carbs. And then I'll do a half a serving of the vanilla, which gives me roughly like 15 carbs uh, and another like 10 grams of protein. So uh, that together is pretty tasty, delicious. Great way to get some protein, have like some dessert type deals. All right, next. These two guys will save your life. Um, so this is cilantro avocado dressing. Okay, it's made with Greek yogurt, but you like I promise you, it's the best tasting dressing that's like low calorie that you'll ever put in your mouth hole. Three and a half fat, one carb, one protein per serving, which is 30 grams, and that's the average serving for um, dressing. And I promise you, this one right here, cilantro avocado, anything taco related amazing and then the classic ranch from bolt house farms uh, and this one is three fat three carbs but it is the best tasting low calorie ranch like i honestly can't tell the difference between this and regular ranch uh, until i plug in macros and then you're like 20 grams of fat with regular ranch so f that fam uh, so those things help out a lot when i make salads uh, and you don't want them to be like super dry get those, check it out. Next is this. So these replace, 
uh, my tortilla chips when I'm dieting because tortilla chips are pretty high in fat, but I love like chips and salsa, right? Who doesn't? Um, and so these right here for 41 pieces, 30 grams. So the regular chip serving is 28 grams. So you get two more grams here. Um, and that's 41 of these crackers, which is a pretty decent amount of crackers. Um, and I say crackers, but they really are just tortilla chips in square shape. Um, but it's 1.5 fat, 25 carb, 2 grams of protein. Uh, I picked these up at Publix, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, pick them up. They're amazing. Uh, will definitely help you go through that craving of um, tortilla chips if you're dieting uh, with much better macros. Um, and then the last thing is this right here. For those of you that are ice cream whores, uh, and you just gotta have some like ice cream. This stuff is amazing. Uh, this is the highest fat in the slow churns, the one that I picked up, uh, but it is also amazing. I mean, it's peanut butter cup, it has actual peanut butter cups in it, like actually in there, and then it has peanut butter swirls. Like, like if you like peanut butter, this is you right here. This has your name on it. So it's per serving, which is 63 grams. That's roughly the average serving for like a scoop of ice cream. 7 fat, 17 carb, 3 grams of protein. Those are some amazing macros. Uh, I mean, like, only 140 calories for that? Like, you're getting some, some pretty decent amount of ice cream. So, uh, I don't eat this all the time, as, like, this isn't even opened yet. Uh, but, I, I get it. Because when that craving hits, you want to be able to have something, uh, from what i found, uh, at least in my experience. Because if not, I would just eat everything uh, but yeah so those are like my favorite um, uh, like just like little finds that hopefully help you out I might do this every single week and just like as I find different things uh, display them or like things that are in my current diet I'll just like help you guys out I mean I eat the normal stuff like beef uh, I don't really do chicken anymore I'm a huge fan of beef I just get like leaner cuts of it if I want more volume uh, or I'll get fattier cuts if I want some more fat. It just really just depends. But I don't really do chicken anymore. I don't do fish at all unless it's in sushi. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of my thing. Uh, and then I eat eggs and egg whites and stuff like that. Like the normal bodybuilding bro stuff. Uh, but those are like my favorite treats. Um, also, pre-workout this week is these things. Um, not a lot of volume, which is I'm not like a really big fan of, but I'm also not a big fan of like having my stomach stuffed when I go lift because it really messes with me. Uh, so this actually works out pretty good in my favor for that aspect. Um, I just wouldn't eat these like if I were craving candy because it's like four of four pieces for a serving, which is not a lot. Also, I weigh out candy uh, because I find you get more candy if you do that. Pro tip. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to have this pre-workout along with um, two scoops of materia, which this, seriously, if, if, if you guys are scientifically minded, go look at PR Breaker on Instagram, go Google them, whatever, look at materia. It is the bomb diggity when it comes to pre-workout, and I promise you, you won't find a pre-workout that's this scientific that has this much data in it that has this like the amounts that are in it the the quality of the ingredients with a great flavor to go along with it and uh derek the guy that owns the guy that owns pr breaker did it uh it's amazing uh i got the cotton candy he has a blue raz i'm not a huge fan of blue raspberry cotton candy though 10 out of 10 would highly recommend that's why i'm telling you uh but that's gonna be my pre-workout um Okay. Awkward. Bye. What's going on, nerds? Uh, I don't usually film these days. Like, this is my bodybuilding day. Uh, my bro day, if you will. This is the chest and back workout. It's probably one of my favorite workouts in this, uh, this series that I created. But today, I'm gonna film the whole thing and you're gonna enjoy the sensual, soothing nature of my sexy voice in a voiceover. I'll see you all after the workout. Bye.
sensual soothing voice check one two <laughs> i'm so freaking weird what's up nerds welcome to the voice over the first one of this series i miss these i really like them let's get into it so i left my bench press set up in this video so that you guys could see it um as you if you didn't know now you know i take a self handoff in training i also take one in competition uh and the way I've been able to set up on the bar uh, recently, uh, I, I've found like this groove where I can literally set it and I set it the exact same every single time and I get the same lift off every single time. Uh, and it's really, really incredible. So if you guys want me to dive more into uh, talking about how to create a setup for a self handoff, let me know and I will work on like a short uh, video or something. Uh, maybe just like a couple pics for Instagram or something like that. But just comment down below and I will uh, do that for you guys. But as you can see, uh, that setup is beautiful. Arch is on point. Um, and yeah, it's just a, it's a new bench setup that I've been doing. And it's been giving me the perfect lift off every single time. Nothing is messed up. Nothing's out of place. Uh, Arch is 100% on point. Um, and it's the most stable I think I've ever felt with my bench. Uh, so if you want me to make a video or uh, like a short tip tutorial, something like that, comment down below and we will get to it. But we had a lot of bench sets today uh, and the, the last one really sucked. But after bench rest, we move on to these pendulum rows. Uh, you guys know I've been pulling, uh, I normally pull sumo, but I've been pulling conventional for the past couple of weeks. And uh, these bad boys right here, if you pull conventional pendulum rows, are where it's at they are the rows for the bros you thought I was gonna say something else dirty mind but yeah super awesome part of the workout uh, is these pendule rows really gonna get the back and and it puts you in that same position uh, as your deadlift so it's really gonna grow those muscles that that need to engage uh, when you're pulling uh, and then after that we move on to the pec deck fly i really love this machine in our gym and that's why i use it i don't use dumbbells you could use dumbbells whatever i just love this freaking machine and what it does to my pectacles uh, yeah as you can see they're grabbing but after that we move on to my favorite assistance movement for bench uh, and that is these dead stop pull-ups so essentially you are uh, pulling yourself into position every single time so it's like you're retracting your shoulder blades and essentially like you're doing a reverse bench press every single pull up uh, and what I've found is for powerlifting especially um, doing these so much better than regular pull ups uh, because it makes you engage that scapula retract those shoulders and put yourself in that same position that you would when you're benching but it's the opposite and you're working um, the antagonist muscles and that is a very, very good thing for powerlifting because we're very one-way uh, oriented. Uh, so uh, really, really good as assistance movement uh, for bench press. I would highly recommend uh, set it up however you need to. You don't have to have rings. You can definitely do it on a bar, uh, but you just want to like set it to where your feet barely touch uh, the ground uh, at the bottom so that you can take the weight off uh, of that position so that, that like at the bottom of the pull up you're essentially weightless um, and then after that we move on to incline dumbbell press and I think there were two more exercises I didn't film but you get the idea it was a great workout okay I was gone for a minute but I'm back now sit the fuck back down sit like everybody now day Hollywood I was like that now. I'ma show you motherfuckers how to act now. I'ma show them how to act. I'ma show you. I'ma show them how to act.